Hey, it's Shahar. Welcome back to my channel, too, The Witchy Reader. So I'm going to be talking about my March TBR, which I am excited for. Um, I, I, some of these books I have that was on my last TBR, but I, as you saw in my wrap up, if you watch my wrap up, um, I read three books, so I did not get to the books I thought I would. And I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I didn't read any of the books that was on my TBR because they all, all, because these books came to me through Libby and I didn't realize they were going to be up yet because I had them on hold. So I don't think I read anything from the TBR the previous month, but oh well. Um, so, okay. So I have my TBR here because I don't remember. So. I want to read, so I, I have The Darkest Hour, which is the last book in the first arc of Warriors, and um, it may, I might, and I want to stress that I may not end up reading this one because it does say six weeks on hold in, on Libby, but it did also say eight weeks just a couple of days ago, so depending on how fast people read that are in front of me, then it might come sooner and I might get it this month, but I also might not. Um, so I have no idea if I'll re be reading this month. Um, then I have The Exile, A Game of Witch, The Game of Wits, which I am, like, halfway through. Um, but I stopped reading it because three, I was listening to three books through, via Alec Book. So, yeah. Um, and I, so I did read, like, half of it last month. Um, and I want to finish it. So that's one of the big things I want to finish. I want to re finally get to rereading Cookie Kingdom because a few months ago I reread Six of Crows, and I just never got to rereading Cookie Kingdom. But I really want to, especially before um, March 16th when it's season two of Shadow and Bone comes here, because I also have this video planned, which I need to finish rereading Cookie Cro Kingdom, then rewatch season one of Shadow and Bone, which will be good for preparing for the show, anyways. But also, um, because I have this whole video plan, and I need to do research. So yeah, that is my plan. And then, um, so that's a must. And it's a reread, so it shouldn't be too hard to reread. So I have Parts of Your World and Once Upon a Dream, which are part of the Twisted Tale series. I want to finally finish the Twisted Tale books, and, um, those are the last two that I own. And I have, um, the ebook for, uh... Well, once was mine, um, on hold for Libby, but it says it could be, I don't remember how long it said it would be, but it still says several weeks, so I don't think I'll, I think it says 16 weeks, actually. So, yeah, it's gonna be a while, but, um, I do want to at least read those two, and then I can just wait for whenever, um, well, well bleh, what once was mine is free, for, available. Um. And I think I've been kind of procrastinating to those two books because all the other Twisted of Tale books I've been very highly anticipating because I uh, love the fairy tale or whatever. And I mean, I don't dislike parts of your uh, Air, Little Mermaid or um, Sleeping Actually, I don't think I like Sleeping Beauty. I mean, the original. I love the Molesson movies. And the only reason why I even got it was because I do like Molesson. She's probably my favorite Disney villain. I think she's a lot of people's favorite Disney villain, to be honest. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I'm a little wary about those two. I mean, also, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Frozen, but I still end up only rating that book three stars. It was the lowest of the Twisted Tales books I ra rated, because I rated them all four or five stars so far besides that one. But I don't plan to read all of them either. Like, there's some fairy tales I do not like. I cannot stand Snow White. I'm not a fan of uh, Cinderella or Peter Pan, Hercules, and um, uh, Princess and the Frog. I am, are kind of meh. I feel I guess they're similar to Little Mermaid, but um, I don't even know why I bought the Little Mermaid one. It was when I was first buying these Twisted Tales, um, and yeah. So and I don't know why. Like I said, with the One Spot on Dream, I think the only reason why I got it was because I'm a fan of Lesson. But I'm very, very about those two. I don't know. I think I'm talking myself out of reading them. But I bought them. So I kind of want to read them. But now I'm kind of like, will I ever end up actually reading them? Because 
Like I said, I'm not, I don't know, I might give Parts of Your World a chance, but honestly, right now, while thinking about it, I'm not sure I even want to read Once Upon a Dream. Because even though I love Love Sam, love the Mother some movies, I am not a fan of Sleeping Beauty. I mean, I like Roar and the Mother some movies, but I'm not a fan of the original Sleeping Beauty fairy tale. So, hmm. Yeah, now, I don't know. But we'll see, it depends on my mood. Uh, I'll read the back of it, or the books are right over there. I'll go get it and um, read what they say. I thought the Once Upon a Dream book was over there, because I have a pile of books over there, of books. Um, I was looking at any books I want to read soon, or reread. So, yeah. Um, I thought it was over there, but I guess it's not so original, it's just... So I want to make sure my piles and piles of books in my closet. I don't want to look for that right now. <laughs> but I found part of your world. Maybe this is a sign not to read once upon a dream. I don't know. Um, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? It's been five years since the infamous sea witch defeated the Little Mermaid and took King Dragon's life in the process. Ariel is now the voiceless queen of Atlantica while Ursula runs... Prince Eric's kingdom on land, but when Ar Ariel discovers that her father might still be alive, she finds herself returning to a world and a prince she never imagined she would see again. Ariel, Ariel soon learns that Ursula has been making the most of her role as princess, plotting, scheming, and waging a right war with neighboring kingdoms. And after the sky sea which catches wind of Ariel's resurfacing, she threatens to obl obliterate both land and sea. Will Ariel be able to th overthrow the murderous villain bent on destroying her home along with the world she once longed to be part of? Hmm. I don't know, it doesn't sound too bad. I think I'll give this one a try. Like I said, I'm starting to not want to give the Once Upon a Dream the more I think about it. Um, so yeah. Um, we'll see. Uh, then I have, um, The School for Good and Evil, books 1 to 3. I got them for my birthday. I want to read the books I got for my birthday. Um, and... So, the books I got for my birthday, if you watch my birthday haul, are, include The School for Good and Evil, books 1 to 3, and the book 1 of Bamboo Kingdom, which is a book by Aaron Hunter. And everyone knows that they are my favorite author. Um, and I'm trying to read all their books. Um, and Bamboo Kingdom is a book I've heard of recently-ish. I think it was sometime last year. And book 3, I think, came out in February. So, it was, like, very new. Um... And I only, bought, I only got book one. But, so I do want to read that. And I'm very excited for it because I love um, Aaron Hunter. And this book is about pandas. And anyone who knows me knows I love bears. And pandas are my favorite bears. And, I mean, Secrets is one of my favorite books. But it wasn't just because it was uh, um, is about bears. I mean, that is part of the reason why I read it in the first place. Probably the only time in my entire life I actually bought a book based off the cover. I still read the summary because that's a must, but it's probably the only time in my entire life I based, I bought a book because of the cover, and I'm not even kidding. Um, I know a lot of people actually do judge books by the covers, but I don't. I only care what the summary says. <laughs> um, but I was in fourth grade. I saw bears. Actually, my friend showed me the book. We were at the school library, and she was like, yeah, I found a book with bears on the cover. I was like, oh, really? And I went to check it out, and I fell in love. But it wasn't. But I don't just love it because it's about bears, even if they are a weird animal. I love it because of the storylines, the characters, the relationships. So yeah. Um, but this book has a panda. I know I read the summary before I bought it, but I don't remember what it was about now. Um, but I'm very excited for it because panda. I love pandas. If you do not know that already. <laughs> I love bears. Like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> that's, not all, all my, that's not even all my bears. Those are just my uh, stuffed animal bears. I have, uh, I have uh, two bear pictures. That like, if you move the image changes, I have a huge bear dream catcher, a bear angel that kind of looks like an ornament for a Christmas tree, and I have, I have so many bears right there. I don't have a problem. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have an obsession. Maybe a slight obsession. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm. Ha I love. I love bears. 
So, yeah, I'm very excited for this book. Plus, I love Anne Hunter. Hunter's books that I've read so far, and I want to. I mean, they're the only author I actually actively want to read every book they write. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, I like Warriors, what I've read so far. Secrets is obviously one of my favorite series of all time. Up there with Harry Potter. Like, they're my favorites. Harry Potter, Secrets. Um, and then there's Survivors and Brave Lands, which I did buy. I don't think, Survivors did survive the fire, I think, but Brave Lands didn't. Which means I have to buy those again. But yeah, so um, I do want to read all of Anne books because, yes, I love the writing style. I got a little bit off topic, didn't I? <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I want to read all my birthday books this month. Uh, I also want to finish Twisted Tales because I still am doing a, a reading vlog on the Twisted Tales books. And I haven't been able to post that yet because I'm still reading Twisted Tales books. Um, so I want to read Part of Your World. I'm not entirely sure, sure I'm still going to read Once Upon a Dream at this point. And I want to read What Once Was Mine. But that one I have to wait for. So whenever that's out, I'll read it. And then um, I want to read Warriors if the book comes out. Um, if the book is off hold. And then I want to read The Exile of Game of Wits because I've been trying to read that for a while. And um, I am in the middle and I am really loving it. The Crook Kingdom, I told you why I want to read that, reread that. Um, and then, yeah, so the books that I got for my birthday that's on this TBR is the books 1 to 3 of School for Good and Evil and book 1 of Bamboo Kingdom. And then next month, I hope to read the rest of the books I got for my birthday, which were mostly indies. I got a lot of indie books for my birthday. Um, books 3 and 4 of The Warriors of Bria. I need to read books 1 and 2 first, obviously. Then, um... Uh, books one and two of Malediction. They're the only ones out so far in that series. Um, I thought there was something else. Maybe I'm missing it. I don't remember at this point. But yeah. So this is what I plan to read this month. And yeah. I hope I can actually uh, get to all of these. Um, so yeah. Uh, that is what I plan to read. Please like, subscribe, and comment what you plan to read this month. I would love to know, and I'll talk to you guys next time.